Wall Street Pete, sick toe in crypto. Want to learn how to make sick toe in crypto every day to keep you up to date. Uh, talking about crypto news, technical analysis, you have to like and subscribe. Guys, the USDC is backed by the government. The USDC is at 99.25. Uh, this was all the FUD. I want people to understand that Silicon Valley, uh, just to give you, I'm a numbers guy. $3.3 billion was held and backed in the USDC for Silicon Valley. So about 7.2% of Circle's USDC, the reserves, was in, uh, was in uh, SVB. So Silicon Valley only holds roughly 7.2% of the USD-backed stablecoin. Now, if you check 94 cents, 95 cents, well, that's roughly about 5% right there. So if you really pay attention, the 7% that was missing, well, it's starting to really make sense on why we were down as much as we were. We bounced back up, we're at 99. And as of Friday, Circle made an announcement when the bank run happened that they were going to back any short, any shorts that may have been happening, anybody who may be affected, they were backing it 100%. They also, had a $3.3 billion wire transfer on Friday that went through. So I'm imagining either today it happened, which is Sunday, I don't know how, or tomorrow they will have all of their reserves back. Everything will be up and running. But guys, that's not what I'm concerned about. What I'm worried about is another big bank getting taken on a big bank run. That is not expected. Now, good thing, red flags happen. All banks are probably getting their shit in order right now. But what I'm worried about is the banks that are so in the, I guess, the red, uh, unrealized profit, if they're really not looking too good, there's nothing that they can do to fix those balance sheets. So I'm a little concerned about what may occur. Uh, we could get a trickle effect. And uh, if we get another bank that starts really showing any type of insolvency, we may actually get a pandemic of something horrible, a crisis of banks. And let me tell you right now, if that does happen, it's only going to show that Bitcoin is here for a reason even more. So Wall Street, peace, sick, doing crypto, currently trading. Uh, we're stuck around the 20,600, uh, 198 seems to have been the price that we bounced off of. So 198 was the number. Uh, as long as we hold this 20,600 and we do not dip 19.8 on the four hourly or the daily, we will continue and stay above the 18.4 prediction that I thought that we could get with this negative fall. Uh, so we're not out of the woods yet, guys. So please pay attention. Please be very careful to every bit of news. Uh, the government obviously does not want us to make money on crypto. As you know now, coming with some news, uh, the staking for Coinbase, if anybody is staking or perhaps staking at all in the U.S., uh, we're allowed to continue to stake. More fun. So just pay attention. Uh, it seems like 80% of what the feds or what everyone is telling you seems to be F-U-D, fear of uncertain doubt. That's what we're dealing with. So between the FUD and between the FOMO, I don't know which one is going to be stronger when it's hitting its peak or when it's in the midst of moving and grooving. But I'll tell you right now, the FUD is real. The FOMO is real. You can trade and make money off both of these particular macros in general. We have to keep an update on what's happening in our space and in our community. So please, if you would like to share some information after this video, what have you heard? What have you are hearing? Please share it with Wall Street Pete. We share it back and forth. This is a great, lovely community. I love you guys. Until the next video, my friends, I hope to keep you tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, your crypto asset, the weekly candle, the daily candle, the formerly, all these candles become and create a new candle at 7 o'clock Eastern Time. Everything forms together. And we will talk about how this week, I think, could be a nice bull run coming. If not, it's going to be two weeks until we start popping back up. And this week is just going to have to get rid of the fun. So we'll see what happens, guys. Stay tuned until the next video. I will see you tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. That's a fact.